Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about Ethereum. This has never happened. If you, if you want to know what that is, make sure to watch the whole video. Yes, this is DC Trading. Today, we are going to go in depth on Ethereum ETH and talk about some price news for Ethereum, what to expect in the next one to two weeks, as well as doing a technical analysis on Ethereum ETH. With that said, make sure to subscribe and absolutely turn on post notifications so you are updated with Ethereum updates, Bitcoin updates, and crypto updates. Okay. So, guys, as you guys know, crypto is up around 6% today. As you guys can see, it's very green today. It seems like buyers are, you know, starting to buy in on the hype, starting to realize, you know, crypto true value and what it stands for. Because the system we currently follow is not is not what we expect it to be okay so now ethereum is up currently 3.14 percent today it is testing this uh, line of resistance it's around 1228 we are going to test it for the fourth time so we need to look out th this week if it breaks through or gets rejected and goes back down and tests this support. But as you guys can see, we are following this ascending triangle. As you guys can see right here. If we take a look at this, we are in the over if you look at the hourly time frame, we are in the oversold for Ethereum. And if you look right here, we're in the top of the Bulger band. Sorry about that. Like I said, we're in the top of the Bulger band. We are testing this resistance as we speak so this is a 50 50 percent chance that we break through this resistance to be honest this is a 30 percent chance that we break through and we head to the 1500 dollar price range it's very unlikely to happen we're probably going to get rejected because as i said the u.s economy is not doing very well but Ethereum holders, Ethereum buyers can prove me wrong as they did yesterday with the news of inflation rising to 9.1%. So guys, anything could happen because what we saw yesterday has never happened where the news of inflation rising to 9.1%, the highest in over 40 years, you know, caused the stock market to dump. And usually there's a correlation between cryptocurrency and the stock market. But for once, it did not follow that correlation. It did the opposite. Ethereum was up 20% yesterday. And now it's up another 5% today. So Ethereum just turned around decided to do its own thing along with Bitcoin, BTC. So yes, guys, anything could happen. As you guys can see, the thing that is very, you know, something to look at suspicious is the volume here is not very high, but right here, people started, you know, the price went up. So I don't know, guys, it might be a fake out, might not. I'm just giving out possibilities, throwing ideas out there. But 
we what we do know is we are testing this key resistance once again and we're gonna have to see in the next couple hours does it break through or does it get rejected yes so what is my price prediction for this you know by the for the next couple days because we have about three days before the new weekly time frame opens so on Sunday I do believe <clears throat> by this time we're gonna get rejected at this key resistance and we're gonna end around the 1160 yes I believe that that is my price prediction but what we must keep in mind is the key date of July 26 this is when the Fed meeting is going to occur and we must keep in mind this can for sure affect the crypto market it can shake up ethereum shake up bitcoin shake up all of crypto coins if jerome powell decides you know to raise hikes higher to 100 basis points instead of 75 basis points which is expected but with the news of the 9.1 inflation there is a possibility of a hundred point basis you know hike so with that keep in mind we may see ethereum consolidate in this ascending triangle as you guys can see if we zoom out look at the four hourly let's see what it tells us on here so currently we are in the overbought and we did touch the top of the Bollinger Band. So this is indicating that we are going to slow down and eventually see Ether Ethereum head back down and get rejected. Because it's very high. The only way it goes up is if Ethereum buyers come in and start buying at this price range. But I believe a lot of Ethereum holders expect a bigger dump. So they are waiting for the right time to put all their money if we look at the daily candle this shows us we are buying and we are almost at the top of the Bollinger Band so it is indicating we are gonna eventually slow down we might see a rise like this a wick to 1260 in the next couple hours we must keep that in mind guys but Overall, this is indicating we are at the top right now, and we should expect a rejection in the near future, probably the next couple hours. But what we need to expect in the next few weeks is Ethereum to consolidate between these, you know, this ch ascending channel right here until the big date of July 26, right here, July 26. We may see a big dump or a rise, depending on the, you know, on Jerome Powell. Does he raise the basis points to 100 or 75? We must know. And guys, the thing that I was telling you about, if you made it this far, what happened for the first time? Well, guys, the correlation between the stock market and the crypto market took a turn. What I mean by this is crypto did not follow the stock market. As you guys know, inflation rose to 9.1%, but even though the stock did dump, crypto currency did the opposite. Briefly, it did dump. It liquidated a lot of people's trades, but it, you know, rebounded. And now look at, you know, Ethereum right now. It's up big time. It was as low as a thousand and three dollars. Now it's up one thousand two hundred and forty. So that's the thing that happened for the first time. Is this 
is it the time where you know cryptocurrency and the stock market are separating from each other and crypto is becoming its own thing it's too early to tell but there is still hope for that with that said this is dc trading i will be back with plenty of more videos so make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications see you guys in the next video peace